This sense of opposites, of opposing forces, runs all through Blake's work and is expressed at different levels and in different ways. I'd like to demonstrate this by taking a close look at a short poem of his, Never Seek to Tell Thy Love, sometimes known as Love's Secret. Never seek to tell thy love, love that never told can be. For the gentle wind does move silently, invisibly. I told my love, I told my love, I told her all my heart. Trembling, cold, in ghastly fears, ah, she doth depart. Soon as she was gone from me, a traveller came by, silently, invisibly, he took her with a sigh. So on the one side we have love, which is positive, and on the other side we have telling our love, which is presented as negative. Love is compared to a gentle wind that moves silently and invisibly, while in the second stanza the consequence of telling one's love is that the loved one departs, trembling, cold, in ghastly fears. And then, in the final stanza, a traveller comes by and, like the silent, invisible wind, takes her. So, love wins but telling love loses. However, the poem is not about hiding one's love away. The traveller expresses his love, but does not tell it. To understand what's really going on in this poem, it might be worth singling out all the verbs. We can see that told is heavily emphasised three times in the second stanza, once in the first stanza, and along with the present tense form, tell. We've already established that the poet represents telling one's love as the central negative idea in the poem, so let's separate it from the other verbs and see what we find. Aha! All the other verbs are verbs of action, of movement. We've even got the verb move itself. So now we can see that there's another level of contrasting opposites in this poem. The contrast between words, which the poet presents as negative, and action, which is seen as positive. There are a few more things worth noting about this word tell and its past tense told. In the past tense, it's a homophone for the tolling of a bell. I told my love. I told my love. I told her all my heart. The tolling sound heightens the contrast with the silent, invisible wind. Tell also has an older meaning of count, as a bank teller who counts out money, or Catholics who tell, that is, who count the beads on their rosary as they pray. In this sense, the idea of telling carries with it the idea of quantifying and limiting. By telling something, we, in effect, measure it. This reminds me of Cordelia in Shakespeare's play King Lear. Unlike her two sisters, she refuses to measure out her love and tell the king how much she loves him. And in the end, of course, she is the only one who really loves him. Blake's friend Henry Fuseli had painted this scene from King Lear just a few years earlier, and perhaps Blake had it in mind when he wrote this poem. What is certain is that these words, tell and told, carry a lot of weight here. In the next video, I'll be taking a look at A Poison Tree, another poem of Blake's in which he talks about telling and not telling. So stay with me because that's going to give us a very important insight into a central feature of Blake's poetry.